Hi, I'd like to talk about the ledger, currency setting, and COFI integration setting today. After S4 HANA, when we create the company code, there is some additional setting is required. Uh, it's not about the uh, S4 HANA. When we create the company code, um, this is a basic procedure. We we run this program. <coughs> Here um, we specify the country of the company code you are creating. What this does is. Um, that creates, um, for example, if we specify a uh, AU, <coughs> this AU01 is copied on to triple zero one, and the basic procedure is to take a copy from this triple zero one after. this transaction now the, of course you have to do uh, no, a lot of uh, other things and today if you look at the uh, customizing menu there are a couple of things you have to do Sorry, this one is a basic transaction. Company code. And um, there used to be additional data here, but uh, now it's a separate transaction. additional parameters yeah we set up some additional information for example um, plans of road not required is in here okay this is a conventional uh, topic and uh, what I'd like to show today is these, especially this one. Since S4 HANA CONFI is integrated, it is a real time, and the GL account secondary cost element cost element is created in FI side, and uh, we have to map field status. You need to create this SECC. Well, it could be anything. Uh, you you should prepare this for um, cost element. What you do is basically make it all option. Option. I'm not sure why business area is suppressed. Uh, so I want to change it here. Um, This has to be, sorry, we were in, uh, yeah, this screen, the rest is all optional. When you create the cost element, you need this entry, the status. The status group. Of course, this uh, 0010 has to be assigned to company code, which you've seen just now. Uh, it's the same transaction.
and the uh, ledger mm. so this is the ledger setting that is required today so these two are the conventional new G ledgers 0L is the main ledger that is called standard ledger and this 2L is this is actually a non-leading ledger and they have to this new functionality called extension ledger this is management accounting and a commitment order entry these are referring to a standard 0L ledger or other ledger and here you can see the accounting principle here and uh, at least you have to set up 0L this account setting these are the points we have to be careful ultimately you have to set up these and this 70 seems a new functionality and this requires certain setting in controlling area setting not sure what this functionality is about but here you can see the um, translation uh, rate type or translation date or the source currency type well this company called it is looking at the uh, company called currency is looking at the transaction currency and secondly um, lo second local currency is a group currency and is referring to company called currency um, it's a big guy explained that this 30 is a CO area currency controlling area currency but I think he is mistaken um, to my knowledge 30 is a group currency group currency is a client currency the basis an analyst uh, they set up this currency here when they import the client this one in the table it's uh, client table is T triple zero and you see the currency here this this also has the object currency and this case the company called currency USD and group currency USD so there's no translation that could be why we don't see a rate type here local gap so you take a copy from triple zero one uh, 70 object currency is also there uh, let's finish looking at the non-leading ledger
you see these all are gray in gray which means we cannot maintain this here the non-leading non ledger is IF IFRS Now we have to know how to set up these uh, additional currencies that is here. You can see, see your currency is 20, so I think he is mistaken. The 30 is a group currency, and this is a company called Specific Setting. For example, 70 is a global setting. What it says, global setting is set up here. These are not changeable any, anymore. And if we look at the company called setting, you have this so every time you take a company called copy you have to set up it here um, here we don't see a company called currency it was set up in global currency so what we see is a secondary second local currency I think you cannot specify a currency itself here if you because it is uh, determined from currency type 30 group currency client currency is USD so it's not that you specify USD here you specify 30 the 1710 is an American company so company called currency is also USD I guess that could be why we don't see the exchange rate type here. What you do is this about it. Real time conversion. So what it means is a secondary secondary local currency thirty group currency is referring to the ten company called currency. So we look at this uh, extension ledger, there's not much we can do. seems like the same, all the same. The next one, um, deactivate. I think this is a new, new GL functionality from ECC. Uh, deactivate a ledger for a company called was only meant for a non-leading ledger so we should not deactivate 0L for any company call you should not, you should not deactivate it but um, a lot of the people work on the same server there will be a lot of ledger <laughs> created and uh, you want to deactivate some uh, ledger then you, you can deactivate the uh, <coughs> additional ledger here from two year define ledger group um, this is today is assigned one by one zero, e, zero L is assigned to zero L representation ledger two L is assigned to two L the same thing. Nothing much. 
So these are ledgers. Fiscal year variant. Um, this is a conventional functionality. There's not much of a change. This one, K4, uh, other things. Edit fiscal year calendar. Only when it is necessary, you create the new fiscal year variant. They assign it to company code. It's same as the company code glo global parameter. But uh, the OB50 today seems a little different. There's two combination, sorry, three combination. One, two, three, and authorization group. This is a free text field. You name it, and you have to sp uh, put it in a uh, uh, role setting, authorization setting. It can be free text, but you have to de decide what's the de uh, text. And this, when you put this one, uh, the people who have this uh, wording in their authorization setting can have access to this area, this part, uh, this period. And I think this one only works for plus and the other rest of the things. Uh, this uh, actually redundant. It does, it's not wa uh, working. If I'm not uh, mistaken. And here, uh, the period here, no, um, no specific authorization is required. Now the third one, and the third one uh, it says the CO entry. Uh, this explanation is used for um, posting from controlling to financial accounting. So if one and two is sorry, th if three is not used, uh, one and two is re referred. So only when it is required, you can use the CEO period, posting period. Parallel valuation approach. Um, it's not being used right now. Parallel accounting. It's only accounted principal entry. Nothing much. There should be IFRS or LG. Local gap or uh, it's just entry. Assigned to ledger group. I think we've seen this. Right, the most important part is this one. Document types for postings in controlling. Today, um, you need to create this document type. CO, secondary cost. And there's a tick, secondary cost here. And the CC seems created for this uh, best practice uh, for intercompany, gross company code transaction. Next one, define document type mapping variants for CEO business transaction. This is completely new one. I think uh, you only have the first one in standard Im implementation. And this A triple zero is the best practice one. The default one has both CO, but the other one has the CC here. Document type and uh, cross company document type. What this does is um, the transaction entry from CO 
will use this document type when it is being transferred to FI. So the CO business transaction use this document type. And let's look at the other one, best practice one. So this one is using the CC. And this one, well, although it says default variant, this has to be assigned to each company code. Uh, you see, these two company codes has the setting, and the default ledger group. I do not recommend to do uh, specify this. What it says is that if you specify the ledger group here. Uh, when CO is, uh, I think this is CO to FI, is uh, transferred to FI, uh, the data will be only posted to this particular ledger group. If not specified, it will be uh, posted onto all the ledger group. So there's no point specifying it unless there's specific requirement. I haven't read this yet, so just display it so you can read it. Define ledger for CEO version, but this one also uh, necessary. It says ledger from which CEO is actual data. Say when uh, CEO is uh, recorded, this ledger will be referred to course it should be 0 L and the version is 0 so they got to be a um, CEO version planning version 0 the next one uh, define account determination why is it under here but uh, it's the same transaction from all time Define intercompany clearing accounts. So, how which company code do we have to specify? If we don't specify, we cannot proceed. And uh, you have to know the table name is. Well, there's no accounting setting yet. One zero one zero to one seven one zero, both sides. And if, you, if you come in here, you can display this way. So the toughest part is you have to know the fast combination. So you should know this table name. I don't have a good explanation about this. It said uh, it says clearing with company code. Blah blah. I think it can be vendor code or custom code if we specify the posting key 31 or 01 40 50 is a GL entry the same account so this is the necessary setting just uh, quickly look at the contouring area too.
when you take a company called copy, I think uh, you should use the organization copy and uh, copy from controlling area. So this one, object currency, this is brand new. The currency type 70 would only work if this is specified. I, I am presuming it, I am guessing it. So this has some, some kind of uh, something to do with it. Source currency type 00 is a transaction currency. Make sure you name the you change the name for standard hierarchy here. Why controlling area A triple zero is using a cost center standard hierarchy triple zero one? This this is not uh, right. By the way, the currency setting, the group currency. Yeah, this. Contouring area is using 30, the client currency, which I have explained. It's not something you have to, you can specify if this is a USD or Euro. This is controlled by a client setting, so you have to tell the basis guy what is the currency you need for this client. Hard currency, index based currency, this one I, I have an explanation. And to use 30 or 20, uh, you have to choose number 2. And uh, this part is nothing much. Component active, and this one is uh, other transaction, not here. Projects, you see, there's a uh, projects or sales orders. And it explains about the sales orders. Item category group or requirement class. So if I have not uh, made those movie. SAP would have uh, delete this functionality before nobody knows. Assignment of a company called this is easy and uh, no. I think this combination has some kind of a uh, explanation here oh, nothing much well anyways um, maintain versions is also necessary they got to be zero hmm The value date uh, should be always the year beginning. Right, I talked about uh, the organization copy is uh, so yes, you, when you create the company code. Uh, this this functionality here, organization copy, but I am suggesting to cr uh, take a copy. If you are to take a copy from triple one zero, triple zero one, uh, I'm suggesting to use this organization copy from contouring area, and uh, you can. You specify the controlling area and specify the company code here. No possible.
possible. Uh, well, I'm not taking a copy now. Please uh, try go a little. Right, this is my uh, suggestion, and uh, we talked about uh, uh, hard currency, index currency. That's something you specify in the country code. That's in the general setting countries. And you for which country you specify index based currency, hard currency, you specify that that is uh, uh, hard currency and the index currency. And this is the transaction code which I have explained at the beginning of the screen. New GL today we don't talk we didn't talk about the new GL but uh, these transa two transactions you uh, come come frequently so I think you would like to know. So that's it for today, thanks for watching.